Day. Veterans Day was not a holiday for the 230,000 American troops on Desert Shield duty right now. They're still a long way from home, but they're still very much in the minds of the people they left behind. We get details now from ABC's Tom Foreman in Denver. It's a long way from the sands of the Middle East to the snows of the Rocky Mountains. But that hasn't kept Laurel Pupa of Denver from sharing a little warmth over all the miles. I wanted to do something to show my appreciation to the soldiers. Laurel has just launched a line of greeting cards specifically for the soldiers in the Middle East and their families. I have no experience at all in the card industry, and when I started out, I did a lot of praying because I didn't know where to start. She did know an artist, so while she started calling potential buyers, he went to work illustrating her whimsical ideas. On one, you'll find directions to Kuwait. Just look between Iraq and a hard place. And if the soldiers wonder what all that training is for, that's easy. Sand to sand combat. I just wanted to convey a feeling of, of happiness and like, hey, you know, I miss you, and I thought I'd send this card, you know, to you just to let you know that I, you know, think about you, that type of thing. The idea worked. Within weeks, the presses were rolling for the Denver housewife. The military ordered 10,000 of Laurel's cards. And I kind of made a deal with God. I said, if you open the right doors for me in this project, I'll turn around and I'll give half the money that I get to charities. Some of that money will go to veterans groups. But for Laurel, the biggest payoff of all will be the first time one of her cards raises a smile at mail call in the Middle East. Tom Foreman, ABC News, Denver. You're watching KMGH, Colorado 7. And for one Denver woman, creating greeting cards is a way to show support for U.S. troops in the Gulf. That support has now turned into a full-time business. Laurel Pupa started her card business last November, and the military bought 10,000 cards then for the troops to send home. Well, that company is now called Operation Mail Call. And the printing presses began to run this morning to get the second batch of her cards out, this time to the public. I came up with the idea because, like a lot of other Americans, I wanted to do something to let the soldiers know that we were behind them. And I thought a nice way of doing that would be to have greeting cards that had pictures and messages that were custom designed for Operation Desert Storm. The cards add some humor to the serious situation in the Gulf and give friends and relatives here at home a chance to send a smile to a soldier serving in the war. These cards will be available later this week at Osco Drugstores.